Hello and welcome to the channel. Welcome to another TEW 2020 experiment video here today. As we wind the clock back to June 2010, over 12 years ago, and we wind it back to look at this man, Brian Danielson, aka Daniel Bryan, aka Brian Danielson, I suppose. Uh, because what happened in 2010, Daniel Bryan was on NXT game show version. Uh, he came in the top three, I want to say. That sounds about right. He came in the top three. Wade won, uh, but he was up there. I'm 99% certain. Debuted with the Nexus on his first night, I also want to say. It was 12 years ago. Uh, he choked out when they made their debut. He choked out Justin Roberts with a tie, and he was fired. And then he returned at SummerSlam as Team WWE's final mystery member and helped them to victory. Uh, I think him and John Cena might have been the final two once again 12 years ago. Uh, but still, yes, Daniel Bryan on NXT, into the Nexus, fired, brought back. But what if we took out that last step? That is what we're looking at today. June 2010, Daniel Bryan has been fired from the WWE after he choked out Justin Roberts with a tie, and now he is unemployed. He is a free agent, free to go and sow his wild oats in the great outdoors. Where will he end up? I, I it, it makes the simulation longer, take longer for me, but I added like New Japan and uh, I added Japan so that he would have those options to go to Japan, because that's very Daniel Bryan, isn't it? Go to Ring of Honor, he could go to TNA, New Japan, maybe some of the uh, you know, other promotions. Who knows? There are so many places he could pop up. But where will he? Let's go find out. Without further ado, let's simulate forward 12 years, oh, just over, to present day, as close as possible, to 2022 at the very least. And let's look to answer that magical question of what if Daniel Bryan got fired in 2010 and never returned? to WWE. And here we are, Monday week 1, January 2022, the start of present year. Present year IRL, of course, Daniel Bryan is in AEW, isn't he? Uh, but uh, I don't think AEW even exists here. It shouldn't, unless the mod put it in. Oh, it does. Maybe he'll be there. Let's find out, shall we? Let's jump to shortlist and see what Daniel Bryan's been up to. Wrestle Radio, Sanjay Dutt. If you were, if you were in all curious, he is the WWE Champion. Jesus Christ, this reality worked out well for Sanjay Dutt, didn't it? Four-time WWE Champion, three-time Tag Champ, all with Kane, and two World Heavyweights. He's a six-time World Champion. This reality absolutely, absolutely favoured Sanjay Dutt. Well, good on you, mate. Good on you. Uh, WWE's the best company in the world. Miz and Morrison are the best tag team. Rest, uh, match of the year is... Justin Gabriel defeating Evan Bourne by DQ at WrestleMania 36. What a humper that must have been. Uh, 36, yep. Show of the year, no champions. Young wrestler of the year is uh, Rio. Who the hell is that? I know. Uh, veteran wrestler of the year is Elijah Burke. Go off Elijah. Female is Melina. Still kicking it. Go off. Uh, independent is Kyrie Hoya. Hojo? Kyrie Sane. Uh, just Kyrie, I think it is now, isn't it? Oh, well. Daniel Bryan. Let's jump to you, mate. Brian Danielson, the game has automatically changed him to his lovely, his lovely uh, GM picture with a nice suit. Uh, he is unemployed. He just left AG, AJPW. He lives in Kansai, Japan. People person, 40 years old, still a full-time wrestler. Not that popular. Pretty banging in ring at the very least. Uh, and he spent his entire career in Japan. He signed for APW, first of all. Let's start with APW. Saturday week 1 June 2010, so five days into the simulation. Uh, all pro wrestling over in California gave him a hire. They went bankrupt in 2012, so he couldn't stay there long. Uh, that was just a handshake deal. Uh, uh, six days later, he also signed the handshake deal with AAW. Over here, all American wrestling, currently headed by Bobby Lashley, Joe Henning, Jim Cornette, Teddy Biasi Jr. and Ultra Mantis Black. What a banger. Uh, and then he went to AJPW. Monday, week 3, December 2010, exclusive ring contract. He left AEW and APW only five, six, seven months after joining in January 2011. And then he stayed with AJPW the entire time. He signed in week 3, December 2010, and he left week 4, October 2021. So, 11 years later, and he'd been unemployed for three months, just enjoying some time out. Uh, yeah, he signed for AJPW. He relocated in March 2011 to Tuba. Uh, a few injuries because it's Daniel Bryan. Two months and two weeks in April 2012 with a superchromial bursitis. I'm going to go with. Uh, and then a boxer's fracture, much easier to say, for 50 days in May 2013. I extended his contract. Spent some time over in Noah. 
Oh, actually, uh, that's a key thing, isn't it? AWPW signed him originally to an exclusive written in 2010, but then in 2013 when it came up, they signed him again on just a handshake, so he could go on those other dates. He went to Noah on some handshake, on a handshake deal, did some matches there. Uh, DJ Dragon Gate, he went there and he did some matches there. They're currently headlined by some guy called Okada. Who the hell is that? Akira Tozawa, we all know and love, don't we? Go on, Akira. Uh... More injuries, of course. One year and two weeks. April 2014. So, the time IRL when he's, you know, on that high of becoming WWE World Away Champion, he suffers a semi-severed spinal column and will be out for a year and two weeks. So, he didn't come back till June 2015. And then in June 2015, literally, Jesus Christ, a year and two weeks. So, he came back in week two, May 2015. And week four, June 2015, six weeks later, knee tendon is out for two months, three weeks. Daniel Bryan, just like IRL, I guess, a career marred with injuries. Left Noah, another injury, elbow tinnitus this time. He got knee tinnitus and now elbow ten tendonitis. Out for two months, three weeks in December 2018. No more injuries, thankfully. Extended his contract back to exclusive written uh, from October 2019 to when he left. Uh, he moved to Cairns I. And yeah, then he left. And Daniel Bryan, now a free agent. God knows where he'd end up if I left this to keep running. But he's been all over the place, hasn't he? Title-wise. Uh, let's find out which one of these are new, shall we? Open the Dream Gate, June 2016 to October 2017. A long reign there. What is that, like 15, 16 months? Eight defences. Open the Dream Gate champion. Uh, then we go to GHC. Heavyweight GHC Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion March 2017 to October 2017 Seven months, five defences With Makoto Hashi uh, And in addition AJPW where he spent the majority of his time here 11 odd years uh, He won four titles His first of all January 2013 to January 2014 A year, 12 defences AJPW Junior Heavyweight Champion The top title He picked it up, he got the win Good for him the top title, I want to say. I will be honest, I don't know that much about AJPW. So let me just go have a look at AJPW at the moment. Uh, Suzuki, Kojima, and Okada again. And Akira Tozawa. Come on, put his name there. It's Akira, for God's sake. Uh, junior heavyweights. I, is it, I assume this is their most... I, I, I hear heavyweight, I assume it's their most prestigious style. Yeah, junior heavyweight is the biggest style in AJPW. I just have to clarify that for myself more than anything. Uh... Brian Danielson here, title history. So he won that. He held that for a year, January to January 2013 to 2014 with 12 defences. So one a month. Uh, he picked up that injury, eventually coming back. And then week three, March 2016, uh, just over two years, 26 months uh, to be exact, pretty much. Uh, after he lost that heavyweight title, he won it back. AJPW Junior Heavyweight Champion for a second time. He held that till January 2017. So, 10 months this time. Uh, 22 months with a belt. Overall, pretty good. 15 defences. Two months shorter, but three more defences. Go off, Brian. Uh, AJPW Unified Tag Team Champion. August 2017 to January 2018. A shorter reign this time around. Five defences with Akira Tozawa. Daniel Bryan and, and Brian Danielson. And Akira Tozawa, banging tag team. Uh, and then finally, AJPW All Asia Tag Team Champ, September 2018, December 2018. Brian Danielson and Joe Herring, the most All Asian guys I know, uh, holding on to those titles for about three, four, three months, I want to say, with two defenses. Decent. Um, you know, picking up some titles outside of AJPW, his new home, uh, GHC, the Open Dreamgate Champion, but mainly AJPW titles. Only four, two tag titles, the All Asia ones and the Unified ones with Joe Derring and Akira. And, but then also winning the heavyweight title two times uh, and holding it for a combined title of 22 months with 27 defences in a four-year period. It's pretty good. Achievement-wise uh, in the world, where is he ranking? Was he in every year? 15? He was in the Power 500 every year. 2010, 196, 104, 86, 67, 89. Out of the top 100, and he stays there. 237, 190, 192, 209, 187, 220, 372. So... Daniel Bryan definitely, you know, not developing fully, marred by injuries as well. His career probably really affecting him. But. Overall, Daniel Bryan doing okay. I, you know, nowhere near the heights of where he is and what he achieved IRL. Staying away from WWE all that time. 
obviously, I guess it was never going to be, never getting that popularity that it gave him, never getting that massive push to end at WrestleMania 30, still keeping all the injury problems because of all course he does. Sorry, Daniel, about that. Uh, we're going to AGPW, finding a new home, moving to Japan, heavyweight champion twice, still all those injuries problems, but Brian Danielson, doing okay. I mean, a big, big downgrade from IRL, but, you know, always going to be, isn't it? AW, if you're curious, Tony Khan's in charge, Super Dragon's the booker. The logo is very hard to point out, but still, the five biggest stars, as you expect, are James Storm, Johnny Gargano, Pinky Sanchez, Kota Ibushi, and Lance Hoyt. Uh, not a single person you'd actually expect. There was a Trevor Murdoch's right up there as well, though, uh, and so is Ariane. So I hope you find comfort in all of that. The first ever AEW champion was James Storm, then Shelton Benjamin, Koa Bushi, James Storm. Jesus Christ. <laughs> James Storm held it for a year. Oh, what a reality. What a reality. The women's champ, Neva, Thunder Rosa, Shell Guerrero, Ariane Andrew, Andrew, and the tag team was Andy Ridge and Asher Knight, Caleb Conley, and Corvus Sphere. Nui Lee and TJ Cannon, Andy Ridge and Asher Knight. But you know what, Tony? You haven't bankrupted the place yet. So, good for you. But that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Daniel Bryan, Brian Danielson, obviously not doing as well. Uh, how do you think his career would have gone if Daddy didn't resign him? But let me know in the comments down below. I feel like the most likely option would have been at least at, at first back to Ring of Honor. Probably some New Japan in there. I mean, that's probably what happened. But let me know in the comments down below what you think would have happened. Let me know any experiments you would like to see done. Uh, leave a like if you have enjoyed and subscribe for more. And as always, I just want to say a very special thank you for watching.